Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to week 11 of 12 in my 12 week countdown to Christmas series. Today I have a bespoke box which I made for these hot chocky dippers. Um, it's got an integral lid that pops up and when you look at it from above this is what it looks like and then you pull it and it's the lid is joined onto the box and then you just pop the chocolate in and it's these hot chocky dippers I've used the sentiment from the whimsical trees stamp set this is bundled with the whimsical dies this is part of the whimsy and wonder suite we're going to be using the designer series paper and the ribbon I'm also going to be using the ornate frames dies which were introduced a couple of catalogues back I can't remember when but it was also part of a Halloween set I think the stamps retired but the frames are still available and the dies I used is this one and this one I also use the Wintry 3D embossing folder this comes as a pair um, and I use the pine leaf one mint macaron ink frayed grow grain ribbon in blushing bride four pieces of blushing bride cardstock cut at three quarter inches by one and a half inches and you need four pieces the metric measurement will be 2.5 by four centimeters I cut a piece of cardstock six inches by five and a half inches and then I cut them into one and a half inch strips be mindful of where the pattern is which way up it is if you want it to be a continuous pattern all around the box I've actually numbered mine and which way up it is so that's panel one two three and four and basic rhinestones a scrap of blushing bread and mint macaron to cut the labels. Box space measures seven and a half by eleven and a quarter inches. In metric, that's nineteen centimeters by twenty-nine point five centimeters. We'll start putting the short side at the top of the scoreboard. So this is the seven and a half inch side, and we score at one and three quarter inches three and a half inches, five and a quarter inches and seven inches. In metric this will be 4.5 centimetres, 9 centimetres, 13.5 centimetres and 18 centimetres. Rotate your cardstock clockwise a quarter turn so that the half inch score line is at the bottom and the long edge is at the top. Score at one and three quarter inches, eight and a half inches, nine and three eighth inches, ten and a quarter inches. In metric, that will be four point five centimeters, twenty two centimeters, twenty four point two five centimeters, and twenty six point five centimeters. Rotate your cardstock anti-clockwise again so that the three score lines are at the top. These narrow score lines are at the top and your half inch score line is on the right. Now you want to mark, fold it on this middle score line here. Okay, and butt it up to the top of your scoreboard. This short side, seven and a half inches at the top. And then you want to mark the center point on each um, panel. So that's seven eighth inches, two and five eighth inches, four and three eighth inches, and six and one eighth inch. 
and you can reinforce that so that it intersects the score line like so okay you do the same for the metric but instead of giving you the increments as you go along the cardstock you measure each one at 2.25 and you make a mark then next score line measure 2.25 next score line 2.25 Next score line, 2.25. Now we want to burnish these lines. Now we have to do some cutting and we want to cut triangles um, so that this lid will squash down. So you fold it on this uh, one, two, three, the centre score line at the top, okay? And you're going to cut, I'll use my big scissors, cut along these lines here on the folded line. Don't extend beyond um, this score line, otherwise the top of the lid of your box will have a gaping hole. you cut straight up along those lines okay then you want to cut straight on the last score line the half inch score line is facing you so this is the second and that's the third so you might have the third in that's going to be the join of your box and then you want to mitre this as well at the bottom, the opposite end, and cut away that small rectangle. Okay, let's do the easy bit first. So now here you want to cut up at the bottom to that first score line there. Now we've got the small half inch tab on the right, so you want to cut the triangle this way, okay? So grip, hold the paper tight so it doesn't move and you cut from that point to the bottom opposite corner. Like so. I'm going to use my little scissors. So you're cutting little triangles. Actually, I think I will use my big scissors because um, they're stronger. And again, you cut from there. Across to that corner there. And there you have four triangles. Now I've got to burnish my box in the other direction. Now this box will go in like this. So this is your lid. So you want to fold this piece out. So don't put any glue on this bit. I'm going to put tear and tame on this side. Make sure that that's folded back. this is going to be your lid and it will shut like that when you push it down <clears throat> and you don't want to glue that yet because um, if the lid has to be slightly larger than the bottom so we want to put glue on this portion here 
so don't put any glue on that bit there where the tab is you want to put your glue towards the edge of the box pinch it until it bonds right. so that is the join so that should be at the back so that means this is the front of your box so lift the flap up put the sides in first Then the back one, followed by the front. Pull the box up and put a ruler in there to make sure that the glue has bonded. Shut the lid and then you can put your pieces on. So that's one, two, three, four. Bring in my embossing folder. And this time I just use my grey plate. I only need platform one and then the grey embossing plate and I'll run that through the machine. Bring my box back and I'm just going to glue these little sections on the lid here. bring in a scrap of blushing bride and then just stamp my sentiment make sure you allow plenty of room for your dye make my cutting sandwich so this is the sentiment center that toward the bottom because I want a bow up there mint macaron with the long label die and I'll go and die cut that and I'll be back. I'll double check that this is the front. There's the join at the back. Pop this on more or less in the middle. I'm using mini dimensionals. Put a double stack there. Bring in the ribbon and tie a knot. Attach some glue dots on the ribbon and pop it over here in the middle. And then, last thing to do is just some rhinestones. Just pop the hot chalky dippers into the box and shut it. So there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and pop back for more inspiration next week. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. All the supplies are below this video in the show more section. You'll also find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. If you'd like to read more then do hop over to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.